Motors with circular cross sections produce even motion. Even motion may also be produced by rollers whose cross sections are not circular. The geometry of such rollers is our subject. Curves of constant width. In the plane, a curve is simple if it does not intersect itself. This simple curve is closed. A simple closed curve, together with its interior, will be called a region. A region is convex if the segment joining any two of its points lies entirely in the region. A circular region is convex. A triangular region is convex. This region is convex, but this one is not. A line which meets a region only on its boundary is called a line of support of the region or of its boundary. A boundary point which is on more than one line of support is called a corner point. All tangents to a circular region are lines of support. The line containing a side of a triangular region is a line of support. A vertex of a triangle lies on many lines of support. The vertices are corner points. The width of a region in a given direction is the distance between the lines of support perpendicular to the direction. The width may vary with the direction. If the width is the same in all directions, the region has constant width. Its boundary is called a curve of constant width. A circle is a curve of constant width. A curve of constant width that is not a circle is obtained by joining each pair of vertices of an equilateral triangle by a circular arc with center at the third vertex. In any direction, one of the parallel lines of support is tangent to an arc, while the other passes through the opposite vertex. So the distance between them is just the length of the radius of the arc. This curve of constant width is called a Rouleau triangle, after the German mechanician who discovered its constant width property in the 19th century.
the principle used in constructing the Rouleau triangle can be extended to construct other curves of constant width. Draw a sequence of circular arcs so that the line segments joining their centers to the endpoints form a self intersecting polygon, all of whose sides have equal length. Curves of constant width constructed in this way consist of an odd number of arcs and have corner points. Smooth curves of constant width are obtained by modifying the construction. For the equilateral triangle, first extend the sides the same amount Then draw six circular arcs. A less symmetrical curve of constant width may be obtained from a triangle which is not equilateral. Draw the first arc using the vertex common to the shortest and longest sides as center and the length of the longest side as radius. This curve has at least one corner point. Using a larger radius for the first arc leads to a curve of constant width having no corner points. These procedures may be applied to more general polygons to produce other curves of constant width.
The curves exhibited so far are composed of circular arcs and bound convex regions. A curve of constant width must bound a convex region, but there exist such curves, no part of which is a circular arc. Consider the curvilinear triangle formed by three mutually tangent circles. For each direction in the plane, there is just one line tangent to one of the arcs. Moreover, each point of the plane outside the triangle lies on just one of the tangent lines. Any closed curve which intersects each of these lines at right angles is a curve of constant width, no part of which is a circular arc. constant width have the same perimeter.